that's what I go. Like music news. Actually, oh. there is there is one one last thing that we could talk about really quickly before I start playing music because I want to get into the music. Like this, oh, this bear song that I like. Anyways, um, NSG, Mr. Cruds, recently, um, I think he. I think it was on Twitter. Recently tweeted something. And let me read it to you. And then we can have a discussion about this. <clears throat> really quickly. So. I was just scrolling through. Let me see if, even if I even fucking saved the tweet. I don't think I did. Oh, no, I did. All right, cool. So I was just scrolling through, you know what I mean? Just a normal thing. Just scrolling through trying to get my news from social media which is where we get news from nowadays which is wild and i see this tweet by king cruds from um a group called nsg Mm -hmm. which i actually can't remember what it stands for but i actually saw what it stands for recently and it was something mad inspiring and i was like oh okay what nsg yeah like, it's an acronym for something. I can't remember what it was. But anyways, that's not your story here. So, he said this. <clears throat> Form Fets. We rejected almost 500,000 K. Just 500 K. For just one single options. Black heart emoji. We played a long-term game and it paid off. And yes, NSG are still independent. Everything you see is all our money and brains. And then he goes on. We've sold 1.5 million plus records in the UK alone. Under our own label, we've done festivals galore across the world. Two tours of our own across the UK of singles. Not mixtapes, just singles. And have even built a flourishing business back home. And you guys are still... Still asking, how do six men split the peas? Group economics can take you far, no matter what field or business you're in. Start working in teams more. We can all go far solo, but we will only go further working as a team. No nation or strong empire was built with one man alone. Facts. What's that? Facts? Straight facts. <clears throat> Straight Facts. I saw this <clears> and <throat> obviously straight away I was intrigued and I was like, ooh, UK artists spitting facts? Yeah. Just talking real shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, like, first of all, you know how I am, Mr. Skeptical. I was like, this nigga talking all this shit. I yeah, bet yeah. you he's on the major label deal. They're fucking his ass, taking 90% of all this shit. <laughs> I bet you J5 all, all that shit. Let me go do yeah, some yeah, research. Yeah. I did research. They're independent. Big facts. Big they independent. are. They're independent. So shout out to you guys. And NSG Festival. Let me start there. And then I did some more research. And I was like, oh, this is really interesting. It's really good. Yeah. I should talk about this more. Now I like NSG even more. Like, what's... You know what I mean? Like, they all own this company. That's amazing. And then I researched who so, owns the company. And it's just this thing. <laughs> This nigga is French. (laughs) I said we. He said we the whole time. It was just him. (laughs) (laughs) That M was upside down from. (laughs) (laughs) Oh oh my god. But still, shout out to the black entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Entrepreneurship man. And that. But give your boys a little bit of the stake in the company. When I found that out, I just started busting out laughing. Because the whole time I was like, oh shit. Because obviously, you know, the first thing you do is like, okay, cool. Who is the copyrights of the music owned? I mean, who who is the music published to? You check that out and it was just NSG. Yeah. Cool. And then find out about who owns the company NSG LTD, right? And it was him, Cruds, and someone else who doesn't do music at all. Yeah, yeah. So he owns the stake in the company. And it just it just was funny. Just fucking hilarious. 
But still, shout out to them and everything that he said in in those tweets are straight facts. Yeah, yeah. You UK artists should listen to that. Moving groups from groups is the way. One hundred percent. Stop being shy or stop being fucking scared of working with people or stop being too cocky or being too insecure about oh they might be better than me. Like stop all that bullshit. Yeah, fam. The only reason why American artists grow so quickly is because they collaborate with every and anyone. Yeah. It helps your career. That's the same reason why... Dig- I'm not going to talk about Diggity anymore. I'm trying not to because people are trying to say that I hate him. And I don't. I don't hate him. I just think he's bullshit. Just just make good music. Anywho's <clears throat> Moving right on. Right on, right on. I've got something that I want to just um, quickly just talk about before we move on. Is Kanye West really 